Hello, there you are, Dinky Doo. A very good morning to you and a very happy Periscope this Saturday morning. It's Scotty McClue, the one stop broadcaster with you, saying Dinky Doo and a very warm welcome to my Periscope for this Saturday morning. A little bit dark, of course. There we are. We're working on natural light. So that's where it's coming from. I'm still broadcasting from a secret location. I can't uh, divulge where we're broadcasting from, but I don't really think that's a problem, actually. So there you go. It's, uh, it's just you and me chatting here, so it's, it's never actually a problem. Lots and lots to report. The world's top broadcaster, Scotty McClure, very, very busy. It looks like we could be off for America, for New York City, very, very soon. So there you are. Lots of big discussions going on at a very, very high level. So keep your eye on what's going on and see what is what. So much to discuss. We probably won't manage a program tomorrow evening over on Facebook Live, another great broadcast platform. But uh, we have a lot to discuss. Now, I've signed up with um, Patreon.com. So there you are, Patreon.com forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word, S-C-O-T-T-I-E-M-C-C-L-U-E, all one word, patreon.com forward slash Scotty McClue. Can you please get onto that and be a patron for me? Be a Scotty McClue patron for a dollar. All right, get yourselves on there, get signed up and join me because everybody in the world should actually be a patron for Scotty McClue. It's not a lot to ask, and, uh, you know, we've already done 36,000 hours of live, unscripted broadcasting over the last uh, 33 years, and 25 years of the Scotty McClue National, National Mighty Megaphone in. 25 years of discussion and debate, laughter, fun, tears, joy, giggling, all that stuff, politics, economics, information, education, entertainment, for not just one grateful nation, but many, many grateful nations. So at least look up patreon.com and uh, look for Scotty McClue forward slash Scotty McClue and let's get on with that. Now, other things I uh, want to discuss, of course, Prince Philip, His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, um, gave up formally his engagement. So he's gone into um, retirement, actually, uh, is what he's calling it. The man is 96, fit as a fiddle. And yesterday he was taking the salute for uh, as Captain General of the Royal Marines with his bowler hat and Macintosh on for the rain. Now, I think this man, we owe him a massive, massive, massive debt of gratitude. He has walked by the Queen's side since 1952. He's been married uh, 1947, I think he got married. Is that right? Yes, 1947, November 47, um, Her Majesty the Queen and uh, His Royal Highness, uh, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, were married. So I think we owe him a great debt. So I would like to see everybody uh, saluting this great gentleman, this giant public figure at uh, the age of 96 going into what I would suspect, and this is just me talking, would be a semi-retirement. So there we are. Marvellous, marvellous stuff. Right. Uh, so that's that. That'll be up for discussion at some point. Ghost, says somebody. Yes, no, no, it's Scotty McClue. It's not a ghost. It's me. It's the genuine article. Uh, so if you can get yourselves on to uh, patreon.com and become a patron of Scotty McClue for a dollar, that would be absolutely fantastic. There's lots of really good, juicy stuff on there. Wonderful, wonderful videos. Get yourselves on looking at all these, finding out what's what, listening to the programs, listening to the phone-ins. Remember, we've got the big program on Facebook Live on a Sunday night at 10 o'clock sharp. Try and get yourselves on for that as well. That's very, very important. And remember, um, I've earned the title of the world's top broadcaster because I've been broadcasting 
for 40 years at a very, very high level in major, major markets in television, radio, and online. Lots still to do, though. Lots and lots to prove. I could stop at this stage and say, I have nothing to prove, but we have lots and lots to prove. So there you are. So there's a good 25, 30 years of work in McClue as we speak. And uh, as I say, it looks like a lot of that might take place in America, in New York City. That would maybe be the next step. Um, in one way, I would have liked the next step to be a national phone-in in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. But you know what they say, the prophet has no honor in his own land. So there we are. But that's what I think they should be doing and should be discussing it at government level. The British government should be looking at having a national radio phone in. Then we would have got the opinion of the people. You wouldn't have had the dreadful, dreadful shambles about this Brexit. You wouldn't have had um, destruction of the country since 1979, uh, systematic and systemic destruction of the country by a major political party since 1979. You wouldn't have had that. Um, the independence for Scotland would have been sorted out. Scotland would be independent now. Um, you know, and another thing I have to get across to the Scottish people, for goodness sake, don't be distracted. Don't go on slagging the monarchy. That is a massive, massive, massive error of judgment. Do not do it. There is no connection between independence for Scotland and the, the crown, the British crown, there's no connection. One, the union of the crowns, it was a Scot that unionized the crowns in 1603. The parliaments were not split till 1707. There is no connection. And there's a certain sort of low life that seems to knock the monarchy. Any anti-royalist is ignorant, right? Do remember that. Because that's why we have this fantastic system. Uh, right at the moment, it's even more relative uh, and relevant than it ever was. Relative and relevant. These are your two words for uh, the monarchy today. Because we have a very weak political setup going on in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland at the moment. And that needs to be strengthened. And knowing that Her Majesty the Queen does have the power to dissolve Parliament and to strengthen the political setup is very, very reassuring. Also, the half-witted idiots that go on about the cost of monarchy, 52 pence a year, right? 52 pence a year. That's the cost of it. I mean, for goodness sake, your television license costs you more. It costs you 150 quid a year. So there you go. So you can have a moan about that if you want, but don't ever moan about the monarchy. It's an absolute bargain. Uh, so there we go. So that's what we're talking about. We've got lots and lots of that to discuss and many, many more subjects. If you've got stuff that you'd like to discuss with me, Scotty McClure, the World's Top Broadcaster, and uh, discussion and debate right across social media, then do let me know. So there you are. Have a fabulous day. Here's your rundown for right now. Get yourselves on to patreon.com forward slash Scotty McClue, S-C-O-T-T-I-E-M-C-C-L-U-E, -E, all one word. So patreon.com forward slash Scotty McClue and become a patron right now. Put into your search engine or into your Google, right, Scotty McClue YouTube channel. And please go on and subscribe. I need about 50 subscribers. So if surely there's 50 of you out there that uh, have got a connection with YouTube and can actually go on and subscribe. That would be tremendous. I can take these off now because I don't use autocue. All of this is absolutely unscripted. So there you go. And um, another, another string to my bow. 36,000 hours of unscripted broadcasting. So get yourselves on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. Just put that into your search engine. And uh, then you can uh, subscribe. So if there's 50 of you can subscribe, please do it now. The other thing is you can go to gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure. You can go to paypal.me forward slash 
Scotty McClue, all one word, S-C-O-T-T-I-E, M-C-C-L-U-E. And uh, anything else you can be doing, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Periscope, right? Hearts, please. Can I see some hearts before I go? I've only got 45,000 hearts. That should be into millions by now. We are the world's top broadcaster. I noticed that uh, the Radio Joint Audience Research figures were out for radio this week. Rage are. I remember you when you were in the old Barrow Network when I listened to Viking FM. Excellent stuff, sir. I thank you. So there you go. When I listened in Cleethorpes, I know Cleethorpes very, very well. I was in the beach at Cleethorpes. And uh, the gentleman had to come down and tell me to go in because the tide comes in so fast. So there we are. But I love Cleethorpes. I love Lincolnshire. Beautiful, beautiful part of the world. Rural Lincolnshire. Ah, oh, right now it'll be smelling of onions. Mark my words. Am I right? Is there a strong smell of onions in Lincolnshire right now? When are we going to hear you on talk radio? Ah, oh, that would be lovely. I have uh, spoken to them at Talk Radio, but I haven't heard back yet. So, uh, you know, if you're a big fan of Talk Radio and you'd like Scotty McClure to be on Talk Radio, ring them up and lobby them. Lobby, 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 lobby. Right, can we have some uh, hearts, please, guys? Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, tap, tap. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, tap, tap. Tap, 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 de tap, tap your screen. That's the stuff. Now we're talking. Everybody watching. Tap, tap, tap. Let's have some hearts. As I say, I've got just over 45,000. I would like that to be 50,000 by the end of this scope. So there you go. So if you think you could make 50,000 with the hearts, do so, please. That would be tremendous. Who are you? I am Scotty McClue. I am the world's top broadcaster. You can check me out. Stick me into your search engine. Where are you watching? When you have to ask who Scotty McClue is, then where are you watching from? Let me know, please. Destinations, places, names, come on. Tap, 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 de tap. Are you watching in America? Anybody watching in New York City right now? Clyde Bank in Glasgow. Well, you should never have to ask who Scotty McClure is. Scotty McClure did the Radio Clyde Cayley. The Radio Clyde Cayley on Radio Clyde on a Saturday evening. Uh, so there we are, fantastic. On Clyde 2 with uh, the wonderful George Barry on Clyde 1. Dinky do to that, I say. I still enjoy hearing the wonderful George Barry on Clyde 1. So uh, if you'd like Scotty McClure, suggest where would be a good venue for you to listen. What are you doing now? I uh, do a whole variety of things. I spend my life maxed out. Uh, working hard for others and for people who are very challenged. So there we are. Do a lot of that. Um, but what I tend to do is um, quite a lot of uh, social media. So you'll see me on social media. So you'll get me on LinkedIn if you're a business person. Do you agree with Brexit? No, I did sign for leave, but on Duff Gen, when we were being told there would be another... 350 million quid a week for the NHS and stuff like that. So because the gen was duff, a lot of people voted leave. And I think they should uh, either they, they should either scrap Brexit, withdraw from it, write a little note and say, look, we're terribly sorry, and um, get themselves sorted out. So there we are. Charity work, always looking after people. So there we are. But I won't blow my own trumpet on that front. There we are. I leave that to your wonderful minds to make up your minds. But message to the Scottish Nationalists. I mean, I'm no Scottish Nationalist, but I'm very much in favour of Scotland being run from Edinburgh, running its own affairs, owning its own oil, owning its own beaches, uh, you know, sorting out all that sort of stuff, because Scotland has been ball and chain for 300 and... Uh, 10 years, you know, I mean, shocking, absolutely shocking. They are 310 years, so it does need to escape now, build its own economy, have the confidence, get its own currency, keep the monarchy. Anybody who's anti-royalist in Scotland should be flung out. Simple as that. Fling them out the country, right? Anything like that. Bring back the crime of treason. That's what I say. Right, so that's what we're talking about. We've got all that. More hearts, please, for goodness sake. I want... 
50,000 hearts. And even that, although it's very nice, is quite pathetic. That should be well into the millions by now, right? Wherever Scotty McClure goes, big audiences, I say they had there. You're not asking for much then. I never ask for much, although we are asking to raise one billion pounds. Billion, not million. M -b -p -b. Plosives, bilabial plosives. B, P, M. So it's not the M, it's the B, billion. So we're hoping to raise one billion pounds. And I've asked the financiers, are you in or are you out? Because I have the know-how, I have the experience to set up television and radio companies and also the energy and enthusiasm to make them work. So there you are. Anybody know who knows me knows what I've done for radio and television in uh, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. So all the expertise is there. Most of the idiots have retired, and um, there's uh, nothing to stop us building up a massive media business. My track record is making millions upon millions of pounds for people who were already wealthy. So there you go. I didn't get a share of it, but I was very happy with my servant leadership. All right, so that's what we're talking about. So um, that's what's been happening there. Um, I need you to follow me on Twitter, Scotty McClue, at Scotty McClue. Follow me on Periscope. Share all the Periscope broadcasts. In fact, share this one. Share, 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 share. If you're in New York City right now, let me know. Very important. Keep the hearts going, everybody. Tap, 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 because we'd like to see that at 50,000 by the end of the scope. I'm not asking for much because I was noticing like there's radio stations that get um quarter of a million people um a week. Uh, one billion Glasgow's full of food banks, would you not give something to Glasgow? I missed the last of that. Please come on again and let me know what your message is. Always interested because remember the whole point of me broadcasting is because it's for the people, all right? Um, I don't have anything to prove on that front, but it's for the people. So I want interactive television and interactive radio. I phoned one in London recently and they said, no, don't want you, Scotty. You've got a Scottish accent. What kind of nonsense is that? Uh, so there you are. I mean, London's full of Scots, perhaps not all with accommodation. Nice hat, thank you very much. Very well made in a very fine part of uh, Scotland. Is this the Scottish one or is this the Yorkshire one? I'm trying to look. I remember getting one in Ilkley, in, uh, in uh, Ilkley, and at that point on Emmerdale, the soap opera Emmerdale, there was a character called Jack Sugden. And I came out of this lovely gentleman's outfitters in Ilkley, put on my new cap and went to climb or to the bottom, I should say, of Ilkley Moor, because the song on Ilkley Moor Batat, on Ilkley Moor Batat, it just means on Ilkley Moor without your hat. So I didn't want to go on to Ilkley Moor bat hat. So I bought one in the gentleman's outfitters. And as I walked past, there were some guys standing at a pub. They said, hey, look, it's Jack Sogden. <laughs> Marvellous stuff. Right, uh, I think that's about us for information, guys. Now, you know I'm in Google+, Plus, Scotty McClue, Google+. Plus. We need to get some Hangouts going there. You know I'm on Facebook, Facebook Live, 10 o'clock sharp on a Sunday evening. You know I'm on YouTube with over 300 videos for your edification and delight. So get yourselves on there and have a look at these. Uh, you know I'm now on Patreon.com forward slash Scotty McClue. Come and be a patron. And, uh, you know, let's get this billion pounds raised. Remember your food banks, austerity, all that nonsense. That's all political. So you can lay that at the door of the government. Are you against the Muslim takeover? What Muslim takeover are you talking about? I am against nothing. Um, because I have to explain to you there is only one race in the world. The human race. That's you and me. If you have a different belief system or a different religion, 
that is absolutely 100% fine. Not a problem at all. Religion has never, ever, ever, ever caused a problem. I can tell you that right now. What does cause a problem or what can cause a problem is a lack of knowledge and understanding. So there you are, that's what we're talking about. I agree, but that won't stop them, sir. It doesn't actually matter. The world it has to always be in good hands. So there we are. And don't always fall for the line. Remember, governments do need to be divisive to keep control. All right. Somebody told me recently, and I will check up on all this, that the Orange Lodge has its roots steeped in Catholicism. All right. When you go right back. And what was worrying the government of the time, the British government of the time, was that the Irish Protestant Catholic workers were getting far too strong. How do we fight the takeover? Does Trump have a chance of stopping it? Sir? No, no, no. Trump has very, very little power. I'll explain that in a minute. But um, let me come back to the Irish situation at the time. And um, the um, Irish people were becoming a strong movement. And somebody said to William Pitt, the British Prime Minister at the time, how are you going to stop Ireland becoming so powerful? And he said, I shall use the Orange Lodge to divide and rule. And the Orange Lodge is still being used as a pawn in the game of division. All right, so there you are. So you have it straight from the horse's mouth. I've got nothing to prove either way, guys. I'm just giving you the facts. If you look at the background to Scotty McClure, what you will see is truth, truth, truth. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Integrity, integrity, integrity. So you're an orange man. No. I'm not anything like that at all. I'm giving you the background to it, you silly fool. All right? I'm not any of these things. I'm just giving you the background to it. I'm explaining it to you. I'm a historian. I'm an economist. I'm a broadcaster. That's all. This won't stop the takeover. I don't know what takeover you're actually on about, to be quite honest. There is no takeover. All right, so we have that there. Uh, or change American minds. Well, you watch Scotty McClue, that will change American minds. Or you listen to Scotty McClue. Get yourselves onto YouTube. Listen to some real wisdom. Forget the wallpaper of whatever broadcaster you watch or listen to. Get on to Scotty McClue. Uh, you must not live in England, sir. Why not? What's the problem with living in England? I've lived in England for uh, for many many years i've lived in manchester i've lived in sheffield i've lived in london i've lived in carlisle i've lived in preston in lancashire so i know exactly what goes on on the street how do you feel about alex jones um i have uh, a connection online with alex jones i see a lot of his programs and very interesting george galloway is the man the man for what that's what I would ask. The man for what? So there you are. Um, as far as I know, George Galloway has blocked me on Twitter because I tweeted that George Galloway may um, have the mother of all talk shows. But Scotty McClue is the daddy of them all. There you are. Uh, so what nonsense are you coming out with? I have never seen the England has not been taken over at all. So stop your nonsense. Right, I think that's us up to date. Time for me to disappear. Lovely, lovely, lovely talking with you. Uh, what do you think of the gypsies? Fine people, the Romani people, we can learn a lot from them. Scattering petals on the day of the funeral of one of our great aristocrats. Up early in the morning. Exactly, see you. Are you never on mainstream? Yes, on mainstream all my life. But uh, I've decided mainstream for the last 33 years. 
but uh, I've decided social media is the way I have. Scotty McClure is actually changing the way we consume television. What about that? You watch any television program, it'll just be plastic wallpaper being read off an autocue. You watch Scotty McClure, it's from the heart. From the heart and the mind. Right, I have to dash. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Share this broadcast as much as you possibly can. What a kisser. Thank you. What a lovely thing to say. And uh, take great care of yourselves. And we will no doubt catch up soon. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky do to you. Remember, I am of no particular genre and we have no particular target audience. The whole world is our oyster. Dinky do. Scotty McClure has left the building. Oh, yes. <laughs>